I didn't think I'd be performing for my first fan fest. I actually didn't expect anything. It was crazy. Hi, my name is Alicia and I'm an electronic alternative artist based in the Philippines. And I'm a singer-songwriter and I'm also a producer. You got me I actually performed twice over the weekend. I did Creator Camp on Saturday and I did Fan Fest on Sunday. Today we have Creator Camp. I'm also performing later. So yeah, let's see what happens today. So I'm in the holding area and I made a new friend. Hi Sam. Hello. Check out his covers. He's really Full good. And I was reunited with my next up family. So I was really happy to see them all. God, how are you? Hey, what's up Africa? What's up? Ito na naman ang idol ko, andiyan ka na naman. Miss na miss na kita. Hello, hello, hello. hello. Joke lang. It was just a really big reunion for us again. So we are currently on the way. This is my sister. Hi! <laughs> We're on the way to YouTube Fan Fest. I'm gonna be sound checking at 11. It's currently 9.30. So yeah, I'm really excited. It's my first Fan Fest. <laughs> this is actually my first YouTube Fan Fest. I've never been to one. I, I never got the chance to go to any because it always runs out of tickets. But I've always dreamt of performing on the YouTube Fan Fest stage. Good morning! Are you ready for Fan Fest? Yeah! Hey, <laughs> Bayon! What are you guys gonna be doing today? We're gonna dance and we're gonna sing. Wow. And we're gonna do a skit. Wow. <laughs> Concert level. Yeah. yeah, main stage. Yeah. What? <laughs> How about you? Are, you? are you excited? Are you nervous? Um, nervous? I'm always nervous. You're, always, but you're always doing good. <laughs> Thank Grabe. you. Sobrang idol ko to. Next so time. Idol. Yeah, I wanna produce a music with her. Go on that song. Yes, please. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We just got inside Mo Arena. Really excited. I bumped into Ben, Kyo, and Louis outside. And yeah, everyone's so ready. Wait, where do I go? Where do we go? Hello! White stuff! <laughs> guys, it's Alexa and today I'm in charge of my sister's camera. I'm with Jelly What's up? and Sevi. A week before Fan Fest, I was actually super super sick. I had the flu, I had a fever, I had really bad cold, really bad cough. So I was just in bed the entire week. I didn't really get to rehearse much. But the week before that, I got to rehearse at least once with Marks and Allen. But right after that, I got so sick. I was so worried. I was like, oh my god, YouTube Fan Fest is on the weekend and I'm still sick. How am I gonna sing? I was really panicking over that week. I get really worried when I'm sick. I really want to give my best performance. I want to get lit with everyone in the crowd. I want to jump up and down. And if I'm sick, I'm gonna be having a hard time to do that. And I wanna give everyone a great show. So I was like, no, I have to get well. I have to get well really quick. So we're currently backstage. We're preparing for the show later. I just finished sound checking and queuing thing. It's really cold here. And Sevi's playing with my Switch. Super intense. <laughs> if you have an intro to the channel, what is It's your boy Jerry. Gaya gaya ko boy na <laughs> Dali, or gaya mo yung akin. Para ka ba yung sakin? It's your boy, nakapoy, sagboy, whatever you want to call me. Whatever you want to call me. I actually met Alwyn and Marks during my trip to Boracay where I also performed for Cinco de Mayo around two weeks ago. 
So they showed me their works and I was really impressed. So I was like, hey, why not join me perform at YouTube Fan Fest? It's happening in two weeks. And they were so game to do it with me. So I'm so happy that they actually got to perform with me on stage. We're now backstage and check it out. Yo, all white and all neon green. Hell yeah. So we just lit. Lit you lit. Relax a lit and shit, you know what? They're super solid. Alwyn does the lead guitars, and Marks is a DJ and producer, and he also did the live drum pads and synths for my performance during FanFest. On the day of FanFest, I was just really, really nervous. I have really bad stage fright. Backstage, Alwyn and I and Marks were just jumping up and down and Marks was singing some Aladdin song. I don't know, it was just so funny. And then finally, we got on stage and then I saw this huge crowd at Moa Arena. I was like, oh my god. Now, she's ready to pump her. Beauty FanFest, let's give it up for Alicia! such a huge crowd. Moa Arena was like filled with screaming fans. It was just a huge, huge venue. I was actually surprised that people knew the lyrics to my songs. So they were singing along to bite and bury with me. And I wanted to perform a cover during my set, so we decided to do a mashup of Buan and Mundo. And they created this super sick drop. I have no words, I'm speechless actually on how that cover turned out. <laughs> And they were just jumping up and down during Buen and the Mundo mashup, and it was just a lot of fun. By it is actually a song I wrote last year, but it was released just this year. And I wrote that about a feeling that you were never prioritized by the person you love and that person just never loved you right, you know? <laughs> Funny story about the music video, I was actually in school when I was like conceptualizing how I wanted to do it. I only spent 300 pesos on that music video. I was in class one time and I was like, hmm, I think I should do a music video for my new song. There's a grocery right next to my school. So I went to the grocery and I thought, maybe I, I need some blood in this video. So I picked up some food coloring. After I came out of the grocery, I came across a bookstore. So I went to the bookstore and I went to the paper section where the cartolinas are. And I spotted this bright yellow cartolina and bright red cartolina. I was like, oh, I think I should use this as my backdrop. Because I, I, I actually really didn't plan it much. I just picked up all the materials I needed to use or like I felt like I wanted to use for the video. Because I was shooting this video alone. I only had my sister to do the handheld shots. So I picked up some cartolina. I picked up four yellows, four reds, and four blacks. And then when I got home, I stuck them on my wall. And I just started shooting. There, I spent 300 pesos, like 150 for the coloring and 150 for the cartolina in my background. And I just had my tripod, my camera, and my sister to help me press the record button, and that's it. So that's how the music video actually came along. And it took me around three days to edit it, and I uploaded it right after. I was so proud of how resourceful I got with that video. <laughs> for Bury, we actually had a really tight deadline for that video because we had two days to shoot the video and one day to edit it. YouTube provided us studios where we could shoot at and the hotel for us to stay in. So Dwayne just helped me shoot around the hotel. The hotel had like three swimming pools, so we shot in all pools. 
and we just tried to make the shots look creative as possible. And we even had an editing party with Ben, Nate, and Banina. <laughs> I finished half of the edit of the video around 5 a.m. and then I went for a nap and woke up at 9 a.m. to continue editing because the deadline was around 3 p.m. on that day. That exercise actually challenged me to be more creative and more out of the box in how I could shoot, edit, and make my videos. And that's what inspired the 300 peso music video of Byte. I was watching my footage of the entire show, I was like, Okay, I actually made those visuals behind me myself. That was a proud moment for me. So, we are completely done with the YouTube fan fest. I wait on back. Okay, we're going to get one. Okay, we're This is my second take. And ni pala naka record. But yeah, we're done with the YouTube fan fest. It's been a successful weekend. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Ikaw mas magaling, buong ano, buong screen, Lisha. <laughs> See ya. Love and Lisha. Hey. mo. I had my family with me, my mom, my dad, my sister, and I had my best friends Jelly and Sevi with me. They actually helped shoot my vlog, so thanks to them for that, and my sister also. Right after my performance, I wanted to see my friends that came by to watch me perform. The moment I step out of the backstage, these fans start running to me and they start asking for my photo. I was like, you want a photo with me? Why? <laughs> oh, it was a really new experience for me to be mobbed by so many people. But it was really, really fun meeting all of these fans. I had such a fun time talking to them, getting to know them, taking photos with them. I love them. It was just, wow, okay. These people love my music. They support me. Wow. And there was this girl, she came up to me and asked for my autograph. And I was like, I don't really know what to put in autographs. Isn't, isn't it just like a sign or something? So I signed my name and I was like, I looked at the other paper and I think she had it signed by someone else. And there was this like really long letter to this fan. I was like, um, stay lit! Exclamation point. I was like, heart. Lisha. <laughs> I love using the word lit because lit is actually taken from my last name, Litonwa. Yeah, people actually have a hard time saying my last name, so that's why my username on Instagram is just Lisha Liton because people really mess up the JUA. And my family and I actually have a group chat and it's called Lit Fam, so that's where I got the Lit Fam from. Like my supporters actually picked that up and they call themselves the Lit Fam. And for the show, a lot of my friends actually took time to go there to watch me, so I want to thank them for being there. I was so happy to see them all and they were just like in the crowd cheering and they were just raising the flashlights on their phones and it was just really fun to have my support system with me at one of the biggest moments of my life so far actually because it's freaking more arena I want to thank YouTube for giving me the opportunity to perform on that stage and I'm still overwhelmed of what just happened. I, I, I'm so grateful.